Um, we suddenly have a lot of water coming out and filling up. I think he may have hit the pipe. into the big cage in the garage. Busy little chickens. I'm gonna have a look. Just looking. Big one, isn't it? Blowing in the wind. Look at all the petals on the ground. Petals from the apple tree. around the uh, chickens. Hey guys, welcome to Wild Hope Homestead. This is the chicken again at the moment. Uh, the kids are feeding the quince flowers to the chickens again. Whoopsies, watch out for the branches. What happened? No, it's been Wyatt. He's a bit big. You're not scared of him at all, are you? There's a chicken right behind you. She's a friendly one. Hey, yeah. As you can see, I've been washing over here. In the greenhouse area. So I got this patch weeded and sort of somewhat leveled. Uh, the timber base is a little bit bowed so it's hard to tell but uh, it was sitting here and now uh, Steve helped me move it over there and then last night as it was getting <laughs> rather dark I transplanted all our blueberries over here. So we had one that was over here by the apple, and the other three were in this raised bed in the veggie garden. So they never did very well in here because it's, I mean, they are kind of more narrow raised beds, these ones, and they just got too dry in the summer. Especially this one over here. Um, I did have four blueberries in here, but the one that was here died because it just, um, I couldn't keep them moist enough one summer. So, uh, kind of, well, at least this end is under the carport, very close to the carport, so they don't get as much rain, but also raised beds just drain a lot better than in the ground, so. We are hot summers, usually, hot dry summers, it just wasn't the best place to put blueberries. Little sorrel muncher. So this is not my recommendation, but this is what I've done. It's not the best time for transplanting blueberries that have crops growing on them, but if I didn't do it now, it would be actually be worse to do it in summer, in the heat of summer. So if I didn't do it now, I'd have to wait maybe five or six months before I could do it. So that's why I got it done. 
I have watered them well and we've had a little bit of rain this morning too which helps. I've got more rain around at the moment so that does help them to settle in. So I don't generally recommend that you transplant fruit bushes with fruit on them um, but it's not the worst timing because it's not in the heat of the dry of summer and I mean it's okay to break garden <laughs> rules if you know what the consequences could be and are prepared to accept those so this is what's best for the long term to um, get the blueberries into a better position in the ground where they'll have better moisture they'll be able to grow better and it looks better um, it's better design for the property and we'll be able to make use of these beds here for actually the black currants but it does mean that I could lose some or all of the blueberry crop that's on them and I know that I understand that and that's something that I'm prepared to face a short-term loss to get long-term gain I guess so as long as you understand you know some people might think that's silly um, to lose a crop but sometimes you just have to do what's best in the long term I have my reasons for moving in now and uh, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> so now I can deal with these black currant bushes here that, uh, <laughs> when was it now? Um, they've been there for more than a year now. I poked them into the ground as prunings from our old black currant bushes that were over the year. Getting distracted by tiny cone shaped snails. <laughs> Steve's back home, he's going to try and help me get the black currants out. There's just a bit of helicopter noise out here at the moment. The wrecking bar is what I had in mind. It's just really hard to reach under the roots, it's heavy. <laughs> no, no, scan it. That wood's a bit rotten. <laughs> um, we suddenly have a lot of water coming out and filling up. I think you may have hit the pipe. 
So it goes from our tip over the year to our tip over here. So he's gone to um, sort that out. Whoops. I didn't even realise that was under there. This is making it a bit more difficult. actually have to get the black carrots out now to fix the pipe. Steve's turned the water off.
and we got them out. Not in the way that was planned, but here's the pipe which is very close to the surface of the actual ground. Can, 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 you, can you find the break? There. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah. And the offending black currant bushes. Just watch it for a second. I'm going to turn the pump on and then quickly turn it off. Okay. Well, at least we got the black currant bushes out. Now we're trying to deal Whoa. with the Whoa! Uh, yep. Definitely a buster site. Yep. Yep. Let's see what we can salvage with the black currant bushes. If worst comes to worst, I've got plenty of pruning material that I can just start some more which may be a better option at this point but I'll see if I can get some of these apart I was gonna put black currants back in there but now I'm having second thoughts I don't think I mean the reason I wanted some bushes here was to help yeah was to help um, provide a little bit of wind shelter because we get a lot of westerly winds coming from this way. Uh, so I don't think I, I think I won't put one there just because that won't be very good if anyone else ever tries to move it and dig it out for me. But the pipe goes probably because where does it come out? It comes out over there by that tip, so I think I could plant one uh, there this is um, not and good. over there it's only this. I'll have a the think about that only... Thankfully we got some uh, irrigation uh, kit things from my dad I think Steve can repair it with what we've got Oh Scarlet Let's leave these in here. So we've got this roll of uh, irrigation pipe and a little bag of little fittings. Let's get those. Put that one in the bag. So I think they're the right size, hopefully. I'm supposed to be doing butchering after Scarlet goes to bed. <sighs> a scene of carnage. It's later in the afternoon now. I got my couple of chickens butchered. I just covered the um, black currant bush roots with something so they wouldn't get too dried yet. Um, I would rather have planted those but I did need to get the chickens butchered so got that done and now I'm going to figure out where to plant these black currants or what to do with them. <laughs> So here's Steve's pipe repair. Um, made a clean cut and put one of the fittings between them. I think he maybe used the heat gun uh, to get them on there and then just put two clamps on. So uh, it seems to be working. Wolf has been on for a few hours now. So yeah. Take a little while for all the sloppiness to dry out though. So I will not be planting a black currant down this end. Um, it's, I just don't think it's a good idea for whoever future people who end up with a property if they want to dig it out. Um, for obvious reasons, it's not a good spot to put it. Yeah. I'm still in two minds about whether to put one here and one down there. I mean we've got raspberries further down so I might as well bung two in and then we can have the rest of the space for veggies. And then I think I might plant some more over there. Let's see. Well it's been a very long day on the homestead today, a very busy day and a little bit stressful at times but we got everything done that we needed to in the end so a successful day so we got all the black currants out 
That was squished yeah. into the corner down here, which was a big mission. And then we had to re put all the dirt in what was left of it and redo the side of the raised bed, bang that back in again. So I've planted, replanted four black currants. So we've got one here where the hose is underneath it. And this first bed and we've got another one here where a blueberry was next to the raspberries. So we've just got two in here. I was considering putting one there. I still consider putting one there later on, but at the moment we've got onions and salad greens, so they can stay there. We've got some here for friends. And then we've got two planted over there by the greenhouse frame. So I've planted two here in front of the greenhouse frame. Uh, about the same distance apart as the blueberries. Hopefully they settle in alright and we'll just see how they go. I also bunged a whole bunch of prunings into this pot. I don't know how many are in there but it's always good to use prunings when you've got them to make some more plants. Thanks for joining us in today's vlog guys. Choose to grow hope and we'll see you next time. Bye!